Welcome everyone to another water cooling guide and in today's guide we're actually going to be talking about acrylic versus PETG tubing. Now ultimately they look the same. PETG and acrylic have very similar appearance but how you tell the difference between these is when you're looking at the ends the PETG has a slightly blue tinge to it whereas the acrylic is more of a clear look and looks more like glass. So let's begin. So to start off with, acrylic is very, very brittle. Now basically what PETG is, is a soft plastic infused acrylic. It makes it more durable, easier to bend, whereas acrylic is more sturdy. And if you bend it too much, you'll start noticing that it will break a lot easier. So let's show you guys a bit of a stress test on both of these bends first. We're gonna create a 180 degree bend. So we're gonna bring it all the way back around. I'm gonna dip it in water and we're gonna see what happens to both the PETG tubing and the acrylic. Okay guys, so here we have two 180 degree bends, both with the PETG and the acrylic tubing. Now, one thing I wanted to demonstrate here was with these 180 degree bends, obviously they're not perfect, but I'm just showing you guys how brittle each material is. Now, let's take a look at the acrylic tubing first. So, we've got a 180 degree bend. Now, imagine this in your system and you get a slight bump to it. Now I'm just going to grab this end and I'm going to slowly pull it out this way and just see how much force it takes to actually break this. I did not put much force on that at all and that's just broke like this and you notice that where the bend is that's where the weak points are. So imagine bumping your case with acrylic tubing inside of it this could potentially happen to your water cooling loop if the bump is hard enough. Now Remember, I did not put much force into this at all. So let's try this now with the PETG tubing. So I've got the end here. And PETG, remember, it is basically plastic infused acrylic. It's sort of similar to that, but um, it's a much softer plastic. So let's give this a go. So you can see here, I'm actually bending it back out of shape. And I actually had to force that to actually get it to kink like that and yet it still hasn't pierced through the tube. So you can see it's a much more stronger and durable tube and it actually takes quite a bit of force to try and get the end off, which is still attached. So obviously a bump in your case is not going to ruin the tube like this. So how about we measure the time it takes to actually heat this up versus acrylic. Okay, so the first test will be the acrylic tube. Let's begin. And remember to always rotate evenly when you're heating the tube to make sure that it gets a nice even radius when you're creating the bends. For well, the next test, we have the PETG tubing. So as you saw there, two clean 90 degree bends with the different materials. The PETG was much faster than the acrylic. 
Now let's get on to the hammer test. Okay guys, so the idea behind the hammer test is to actually show you how strong and durable these materials actually are. So we might actually start with the PETG tubing and we'll give it a few hits with the hammer and we'll see what happens. So guys, as you can see there, I hit it quite a few times. All that it's done is started to flatten it out. There is no stress cracks or anything within this material. That's because it's a much softer and denser material, which is able to withstand all of those hits from the hammer. Now let's see what happens if we take a brittle material such as this acrylic here. Do not try this at home. If you do plan on trying it, please wear some glasses because you're about to see what happens. And there we have it guys. I certainly don't want this inside of my system. One decent bump and this stuff could crack, especially where the bends are being the weak point of the system. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have roughly the same size tube. Um, I just want to demonstrate how dense these materials actually are compared to each other. And you can actually hear it during just, just listening to a bit of noise as you tap them. Way different. I mean, you could even use these as, as drums if you really wanted to. But uh, as you, yeah, you can hear that it sounds a lot more denser than the acrylic, which actually just chipped as I was hitting it there as well. So you could see that this one is actually a lot more stronger than the acrylic. Okay, let's get on to the deburring section. Now, what this means is before you put your rigid tubing into your fitting, you want to clean out the edges by using something like this or a bit of sandpaper to sand it down so that the edges don't split the O-rings inside the fitting. So what I'm going to do here is demonstrate the type of cut that happens on the tube. Okay, I just wanted to demonstrate how clean the edges were. I hope this is in focus for you guys, but the PETG is this one. You can see that it is very, very rough on the edges there, whereas the acrylic is nice and smooth. So that is one down for PETG. However, you can just take a bit of sandpaper and smoothen that out when you're putting it into the uh, fittings, but these little grooves here that aren't nice and smooth they could potentially cut the o-ring as you're inserting them into the fitting so that's one thing to be mindful of if you are going to use petg so what about cutting each material let's give that a go and we'll see what happens starting off with the petg you can get little tools that actually cut it for you so this one actually has a cutting blade which you actually tighten as you're moving it around the tube to get a nice clean cut through it so let's see how it works on both of these materials Firstly, we'll start off with the PETG. Simply insert, tighten it up, get a nice firm grip, and then start turning it and turning the handle down the bottom. So that was really easy. It's got a nice clean edge. I'll just zoom it in for you guys. So it's got a nice clean edge after using that tool, and you can see it's just a straight clean cut all the way through, no problems at all. So let's try this with the acrylic. So the acrylic's in place of a nice firm grip. So what I'm gonna do is start twisting both at the same time. And you can already see that the acrylic is starting to crack. It's not gonna be a nice clean cut. It just cracks it. There's all these splits down the uh, middle of it. I'll zoom in close so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So with the acrylic tube, you can see that there is some stress line cracks all the way through. It's not a clean cut. I didn't actually cut all the way through, it broke off itself because of the stress that it was under. And yeah, so that's the problem with trying to cut acrylic with one of these tools. Now with cutting with one of these, it produces a fairly clean cut on both the PETG and the acrylic, both cut similar and are pretty easy to cut. However, the acrylic could sometimes chip away 
but this would probably be the best way to cut your acrylic tube. Now obviously once you are done cutting you're going to use the deburring tool anyway so it should clean up any of those chips away or you can simply sand it down with a bit of sandpaper. So guys that's basically what I wanted to show you all today. I hope you enjoyed. Now you know the differences between PETG tubing and acrylic and why you should use one over the other in a system. Personally, I like to use the PETG. I just like that sense of safety in a system, especially when you dump so much money on components and you just want that reassurance that nothing's going to break or leak over your system. So the PETG does bend easier, saving you time. It is easier to cut with that tool, much faster than trying to hand saw it, and it heats a lot easier. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I'll be making more water cooling guides more often, hopefully once a week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Remember to leave a comment down below. It really helps us out. I want to know what you guys want to see in the videos. Tell me what guides you want to see and we'll make that happen for you guys. If you like the video, thumbs it up and subscribe guys. Leave a comment down below and we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks guys.